Hey folks, Steve Baliskas with Mount Comfort RV. Today what I want to show you is a very nice 2011 Keystone Laredo 298RE travel trailer. Let's start at the front up here. You'll see a very nice fiberglass front cap. Electric tongue jack, so no cranking necessary. And I really do enjoy how they've hidden the propane tanks under here to keep the bugs off them. Give a nice, um, very streamlined look to this particular trailer. Walking around to the back here, you'll notice we do have a bedroom slide, but we'll showcase a little bit more up front, excuse me, inside. And then, as you come over here, the business area of the trailer, we got our utility shower, our outside shower, nice light so you can see what you're doing if it's dark out, your city water connection, and your black tank flush. And under here, um, right here, we've got our gray and black tank knife valves, and those are all above the freeze line as this does come with a glacier package. Just moving around back, just kind of giving you the whole picture of the whole thing. Nice large window in the back, spare tire as well. And I don't know if I, uh, I know I didn't say this in the beginning, what we've got here is a um, one owner coach, bought it new and has kept it inside the whole time. And you can kind of tell that by looking at the graphics. You'd expect something a few years old to have at least a little bit of peeling or cracking in the graphics. This has none at all because it was kept in the garage. Extremely nice. Just taking a look here, you've got a nice awning that spans almost the whole length of the trailer. Outside speakers. Outside uh, place to plug in your TV and watch them over the air. Television. And aluminum wheels as well. Already outfitted with the uh, grate so you don't need to mess with that when you're picking it up. Let's take a look inside. Hey folks, Steve Beliskis, Mount Comfort RV, inside the 2011 Keystone Laredo 298RE. Let's start out with the pantry in the kitchen. Tons of room there for boxes, cans, chips, sodas, whatever you need to put in there. Nice, large, and extremely clean. We haven't had to do anything to this since we brought it in. I mean, the fridge looks new. Folks got very nice care of it. Taking a look over here to your kitchen area, nice double bowl sink down here plenty of cabinetry up top here you can get to it from both sides taking a look here at the back just kind of showcased you all of the space you've got you've got more over here that I'm not going to be able to get to with a chair you've got your DVD player over here as well this TV does lower electrically taking a look onto the other side you'll notice you do have some Additional cabinetry above the couch, which does turn into a nice hide a bed. Since this coach is set up for two people, you don't have to worry about the booth. You've got four nice chairs that you don't have to suck it in to get in and out of. And of course, we have indoor speakers to complement our outdoor speakers. A nice big 15K AC for those hot summer days, and Tony and I are feeling that right now. If you take a look in the bathroom, a couple things to notice. One, plenty of um, place to sit down and do your business. Nice towel racks, and of course a medicine cabinet and a linen closet underneath the sink. Stepping into the bedroom, and this is where it's very nice. You've got your nice east-west bed and a slide. Plenty of storage underneath. If you take a look, you've got four nice full extension drawers under here. Even more storage up here. And if you gotta do the bed in the east-west slide, this is the best way to do it. You can put a TV in here, put it on a slide mount, however you want. You can mount it out here. This is the best way to do it because you still get your pass-through storage underneath, but you also get a massive closet up front as well. Much better than having on the other way. So this is almost fifth wheel like bedroom, if you will. Extremely large, plenty of space, glacier package. You almost can't find a new one nicer than this. You'd be hard pressed to, and especially at the price we're selling it at. So if you guys got any questions, give me a call, 317-898-6676, or you can shoot me an email, which will be at the bottom of this as well. Thanks guys, and have a great day. I'm crooked. This thing gets crooked sometimes. Today, what I want to go over to you is a, with you is a very nice 2011 Laredo. Let me start over. 
Hey folks, Steve Bliskin. Let me try again.